fossil fuels. The things that we use in our daily lives are known as resources. Based on the origin of the resources, they can be classified into natural resources or man-made resources. Natural resources are those resources which are present in the environment naturally and are useful to us. The water that we drink every day, the air that we breathe, the fruits that we eat and even the fuel that we put in our car are some examples of natural resources. Different kinds of natural resources Man-made resources are those resources which do not occur naturally in the environment and are made by man. For example, plastic, cheese, furniture, etc. are made by humans. Renewable and non-renewable resources Natural resources can be classified into two categories, renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources which do not get exhausted. These resources are replaced by nature over a specific period of time. For example, solar energy, air, water. Non-renewable resources are those resources which can get exhausted. These resources are present in limited quantities. This is why they are also known as stock resources. For example, fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, non-renewable resources. Fossil fuels are formed from the dead plants and animals which got buried deep inside the earth millions of years ago. Due to heat and pressure, these remains of plants and animals got converted into fossil fuels. Examples of fossil fuels are coal, petroleum and natural gas. Coal is the most abundant fossil fuel present in the world. We obtain coal by a process known as mining. Coal is transported from coal mines in trucks or trains. Some uses of this fossil fuel are Coal is used to produce electricity. Coal is used in many industries for various processes. Coal has been used since ages as a cooking fuel. Other fuels used for cooking. In many places, especially villages, wood, coal and upla are used as cooking fuels. Upla are flattened cakes made from cow dung. They are dried and then used as a fuel. Some people also collect wood, twigs and dried leaves and use them as fuel. Petroleum Petroleum is also known as crude oil. Petroleum is a thick, black, gooey liquid. This fossil fuel is found way down in the ground, usually between rocks. It is formed from the remains of tiny sea animals and plants that died millions of years ago. Petroleum is taken out from deep within the earth by the process of drilling. Companies drill through the earth to the deposits deep below the surface. After this, the oil is sent to refineries. At the refineries, petroleum is processed to form many products like petrol, gasoline, diesel, kerosene, etc. Petroleum is also known as black gold. Some uses of petroleum are as follows. The entire transportation system of the world depends on this fossil fuel. Petrol and diesel which are derived from petroleum are the main fuels used in vehicles. Kerosene is used as a fuel for cooking in many places. Many industries use this fuel for their processes. Most generators work on diesel. All types of lubricants and greases are produced from petroleum. Natural gas Natural gas is a fossil fuel which is found along with petroleum deposits deep under the earth's surface. It is a colorless and odorless gas. It is highly inflammable. Natural gas on burning generates heat and light. This makes it a good domestic fuel. Some uses of natural gas are It is used in homes for cooking and heating. It is considered a cleaner fuel as it causes less pollution than coal and oil. Hence, many vehicles are now switching to natural gas as a fuel. It is used in factories for heating boilers. Disadvantages of using fossil fuels 
Fossil fuels on burning release a lot of unwanted substances into the air. This causes air pollution. One such unwanted gas released is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has the ability to trap the heat of the sun. Hence, excessive quantity of this gas in the air causes trapping of more heat, resulting in the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect, in turn, can lead to an increase in the surface temperature of the earth. This phenomenon is known as global warming. Coal produces the most carbon dioxide. It also releases sulfur dioxide on burning. This gas mixes with the moisture in the air and forms acid rain. Acid rain can damage buildings, monuments and structures. It also harms plants and animals. Air pollution can cause health problems in humans too. It causes irritation of the eyes and throat. It can also cause respiratory diseases like asthma and bronchitis. Conservation of Natural Resources The growing population has put tremendous pressure on our planet. We are consuming it at a far greater speed than the Earth can replace naturally. As a result, natural resources have started getting exhausted. What seemed to be unlimited before has become limited and is depleting faster than we had imagined. Moreover, excessive use of fossil fuels is hampering the environment. Hence, it becomes very important for us to conserve natural resources. Fossil fuels can be conserved in the following ways. We should switch off lights and fans when not in use. We should use low-energy light bulbs called CFLs and LEDs. We should follow the right cooking techniques to save gas. For example, if we have to boil water, we should cover the pan with the lid while boiling. The water will take less time to boil and thereby fuel will be saved. We can opt to go to nearby places on bicycle or by walking. We should try to use public transport as much as possible. People going to the office can opt for carpooling. We should keep our vehicle switched off at red lights. We should try to switch over to green vehicles. Green vehicles are eco-friendly vehicles which run on alternate fuels such as electricity rather than fossil fuels. We can opt for renewable sources of energy whenever possible. Let's revise. Resources Natural resources Renewable resources For example, solar energy, air, water, etc. Non-renewable resources For example, fossil fuels like coal, petroleum, man-made resources For example, plastic, cheese, telephone, etc.